2008 yeah it's dropping back hi there this is my android head unit and we're looking at this drive mode dashboard 2 let's click on install and of course this is a google play store let's check out their screenshots here so this is how it looks like landscape mode portrait mode but this is always landscape mode yep so you get to see uh, maps as well and more maps i think there's a lot of uh, things you can do with the maps settings and this should be cool yeah some of the so you, you could have also se select different sensors i think you can use the odb too yeah it's a sensor where you put it you plug in to your car you want to check all this okay uh, this looks good pretty basic uh, you can see all your apps as well you can do orientation you can see the battery power and the brightness settings as well and it looks like it's recommended for motorbikes yeah so let's see how it looks like click open on it okay most will show blue vertical bar okay click ok so i'm gonna use this swiping nope nothing happens okay but this is good yeah it's making use of the full screen here you get to see your battery your you know temperatures no gps fix uh, doesn't mean oh that means i don't have a gps signal here yeah i'm at the basement so i don't have any gps signals and i'm online you know using the wi-fi to online now you know connected to this phone uh, at the personal hotspot and this is the date and time so this is the logo of this product and you have time and date here as well in a bigger you know it's good yeah most of the time you have to see this and this is how fast you're going cam per hour uh, this is the odometer and you can get to see the distance travel time average speed and how long you have been traveling and there's a start and stop time as well it's nice so I believe that you can also put in some uh, apps here as well. So, for example, my radio, um, my internet radio, cool. Um, uh, it can be Google, it can be Maps, anything, yeah. Six would be just good enough, yeah. Normally, I just use two, uh, which is my radio and my internet radio. And yeah, Spotify maybe, yeah. So, what else? Let's go through all this. Um, this is support. This is for me to buy something. Yeah. Uh, thank you for using the 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 the. Okay, meaning that I can visit the shop and you know buy some stuff from them. Um, this is the ODB sensor. Um, maybe I'll try that out later as well. This is the road book. Okay, interesting. Time to open file. Don't have any files for this i think there's a map file for that yeah uh, okay this is the global settings i can use a 24 hour format use miles instead of km fahrenheit and steel celsius um, default is just nice for me um, gps positions i can't test it now interface options interesting yeah if for a free software you get to you know do all this interesting so besides this let's see um, control station you get to see you know change your oh, modify system settings fine you can do that um, you can okay so this is nice you can change the brightness directly in this app itself and the volume as well let me just check whether it's really changing the volume now it's 12 now it's not really changing anything um, this is rotation mm, meaning I need to yep let me just enable that rotation lock rotation unlock 
so I lock it meaning that I can't rotate it right if I unlock it I can't as well because this doesn't rotate yeah makes sense okay um, this what does this do detect max brightness options and hide menu um, those options lock rotation right, right. okay this is the same thing um, yeah so let's oops let me just make the brightness higher and this is apps that I can see on my phone I mean in my Android head unit this is the map okay you can check you know click on which part are you in the world I'm in Asia and of course I can download depending on where I want this is good yeah it means it's free you can do uh, online offline map manager yeah so I'm not going to do that I'm not going to install it just press back back again and this is the dashboard again so I have to go through one cycle that's nice ah see that it's now locked yeah I got a GPS uh, signal now so okay so if I click here it doesn't do anything uh, I click on that then it goes to uh, file manager mm, interesting yeah, it's for, for something free it's pretty good okay um, I want to test out that ODB uh, yep the ODB sensors um, click on the settings here yeah so depending on where you are you click on that you will set you will give you some settings uh, or, or options for you to change anything so this is interesting ODB view setup select uh, Bluetooth device auto start Okay, OD preference and whatnot. Speed RPM throttle options. Okay, let me just plug in that ODB things that I have. Yeah. So right, I have an uh, ODB to device here. It's not something expensive. It's just you know maybe five or less than ten. Yeah, it will be less than ten dollars. So let me just plug in and check it out. So this is where I plug in this. So shoot this way. Okay. Everything is in. So all I need is just is it? Yeah, you get to see the lights is on. So I just need to check on the Android head unit now. So right, I think I know how to do that now. You know, I just plug in the device to your car then click on this bluetooth logo and i think it's done yeah so what you can see here is uh, three percent not sure what is that um i think you can click here to check the error as well that's null meaning that no, no error and it doesn't detect my fuel level actually because uh, my device doesn't support that so mine is you know more than half full so it's still connected as zero um but rpm yeah just nice yeah so it's about 700 yeah not more than 1000 yet so let me just step on it and see hear that yeah 2008 yeah it's dropping back so it does work which is pretty impressive yeah it also shows you the, the temperatures in Fahrenheit uh, of the car and this is oh, so sorry this is temperature in Celsius 86 that's pretty hot yeah. um, 30.5 watt battery and this is sorry not to show us that so it also show you how fast you're going if you're moving uh, but I'm now stagnant not moving at all so you wouldn't get to see how fast you're going so all right um, pretty impressive so let's say I go back to dashboard yeah this won't show you anything on the, the what you call this uh, word information that you connected to your car using the OBD2 
this shows this is impressive um, so if you don't have that just make use of this this is good enough yeah and this is home which is also showing you informations um, and you can use the apps here as well this is good yeah for a free item I feel a free product I think this is pretty impressive so thanks for watching and I I hope you like this just click on the subscribe button if you have not yet uh, so that you, know, you can see more of these videos in the future thanks and goodbye